Hey everyone and welcome back to some more of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So last time we basically did this quest in which we came back to Norway with Sigurd and we're gonna see how that works out. Um, we're here in Norway and we're gonna go and speak to Sirborn. We're gonna see how that works out. Alright, let's do it. Hmm. Fuck champ. But before I do any of that, I'm gonna just... Hey, what are you doing? We'll pick up. Rap nice thing, get up. Welcome, traveler, to our lush and fertile shores. I did not expect to find anyone on this island. And why not? This is England, home to a nation of Saxons and Danes. Our shores are open for trade. England? It is not what I expected. Many from Norway find the trip dizzying, but fortunately you have me to guide you. I know the land better than my own son. Are you all right? My son, nesting with the pigs north of Hadrian's Wall, who knows what schemes they're hatching. Or the sort of people they might send to spy on me. You said something about a tour. Of course, of course, a tour. Follow me. This is the city of London, first built by the Romans during ancient times. We have not seen builders like that since. I guess they had to work with what they had. Those are the new things coming to the little for the England British Fields. Alfred, what was land north of Adrian's Wall? Anyone strong enough to hold it? You'll need great strength to battle the savages who make their home in the north. Uncivilized people, burn your homes, steal your children, join me in a fight to the land of these monsters. are the Dover Cliffs, famous for their bluebirds. Mm. city of trade. Keep this between us, but King Alfred has a plan for Jorvik. I see. This is Hadrian's Wall. A last line of defense against the barbarous Picts. It is a line of sorts. At the end of our tour is Winchester, the heart of Wessex, where... Where is King Alfred? Those honorless Picts, they have taken the king! We must seek them north of Hadrian's Wall! Where are you, my king? 
I am sure he's somewhere. Do not worry, my king. I am coming. King, what happened? Why won't you speak? Who in hell's name are you? Why are you going through my things? Force balls you founded. Why did you take it back? You set him off again, traitor. The king won't speak to me. You cut out his tongue. He has no tongue. Because you cut it out. You are his son. Do not feed this fantasy. His wits wither and become those of a babe. I took him here to ease his madness, but it grows worse. I try using reason or playing along, but he hears only what he wants to hear. Only what he wants to hear? I have an idea that could help, if you let me. Old man, your king is worn out from his ordeal. I can hear him speak very softly. He's praising you. He wants to thank... Heesing. He wants to thank Heesing for his loyalty to the crown. What else does he say? The Picts, terrified at word of your approach, will pledge themselves to the Crown if you spare their lives. They will? And they agree to pay a daily tribute of food and other goods in exchange for free passage through your lands. Oh, it is a good deal and greater news! Thank you. You may leave the King in my care now. This will only lead to further delusion. You'll know at least that he eats every day. And maybe someday, the fog will lift. Forgive my ill will. I knew this would be a difficult end, but sometimes the weight bears down heavily. There is courage and honor in what you do, and the gods know it. Good luck to you. It looks like England is united. The Picts have been fine some years. King England. Alfred is pleased. The peace holds. For now. All right, then. I can just fast travel or I can call the boat here. Let's call the boat here. from there This is 
is Harold's fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father is fool. Poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. What it horrors I wished upon him. I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. Go outside the area field. What's the matter? <laughs> and our father is fool. Poor man. It is a role he chose. He passed easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors of his God. 
He deserves nothing but shame. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no... Dodging! <laughs> Bro, I'm fucking dodging! This bitch won't dodge.
Describe it for me, Sigurd. Valhalla. My father says the walls will drip mead, your fingers will sing, and your feet will grow wings. Jewels will fall from the mouth. I mean, that was simple. Dark hat and raw. Compared to the shit I've seen in England. Like a cake ball. Skiing. I need to not run away.
I don't... I don't know what's going on. No fucking shot, bro! Okay, that's fine. And our father, his fool. Poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke. Do not pity him. No. For many months, he did not. Not what I was expecting. Fucking animation, man. It's so fucking broken. Half the time they, they do the animation, half the time they don't. And I don't know what the preference is between doing the animation and not doing the animation because it's so stupid. And our father is fool. Poor man. It is a roly joke. out of a particular area as well like I have to remain inside these stones
Ah! So fucking dumb. I'm out of arrows. This is so painful. Why? Why do I not have wired that shit? And our father is fool. It is a road he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. Am I dying? Please, somebody explain this shit, man. Hey, 
Ívar, leggjum skifi. It is a role he chose. He bent easily. Survey the area soon. Stupid man. Let's go back to the ship now. Oh, there's one more thing here.
Layla. How are you holding up? Not bad, actually. These anomalies feel second nature now. Any ghosting effects? Double identity syndrome? Occipital shock signs? Hey, hey, you trying to freak me out? My god, just let me work. What the fuck? Oh, I'm stuck. Help, step, bro. Stupid bitch. Okay. I've spoken with the mother of all the secret 
voice. They have assured me their success is imminent. Our people will survive the cataclysm. Well, six times they have tried to save us. Six times they have failed. Forgive me if I have in my doubts. The mother is working on seven. A bold solution. Whiskey. But she's confident it can work. And what does the father say? Or the voice? They are strangely silent these days. Closing in on another one. Sorry to freak you out earlier. It's just the animus can be dangerous. Prolonged exposure is hard on a brain. Oh. I, I just. I want to finish this. Yes, definitely. Jump out whenever you feel worn down. <laughs> I have it. Sending it over. That is the animus normally. What is this supposed to be? Show me what lies ahead. Sound.
this guy? Sure. Cast about this land, my friend. Sunan, guide me. How do you actually find his purple cradles, though? You know what? I don't care about this quest. Oh, wait. Shows me on the map. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think the game is bugged. Okay, you know what? Fuck this quest. Fucking <laughs> broken game three years after release. Yeah, okay.
Alright, start. That's hard of Filke, not quick of Filke. Hello, friend. Come see my wares. These are locally sourced. Ooh, this one is very hard to come by. This comes from a faraway land. New steam. I don't think we need a new chat here right now. Have you looked at everything I have for sale? I'll see you later, friend. That poor soaker. That poor soaker, he never leaves. From sun up to sundown, he just sits there. Staring into his horn. Once, just once, I'd have him take a bath. He was a We should go. Look at him. Father. Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This, this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you... ...for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father. As a king. As a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. It was your right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must, to earn you riches, to bring you glory, to praise your name. The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I needed you here. Listen to this weeping old goat. I 
I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief, your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... he was... Uh... He loved you. That is all. Arkan nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd, from the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He is my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This sad business is finished. Good readings. Now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. If you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. No closer! Got my eye on you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. 
My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The sack of stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know. You're not alone in this. I, too, have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes, I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Ha <laughs> Let's get out of here. Sail out! Sigurd! The daughters of Aegir bless our passage. Yes, I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the Elf King, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he'll push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we... Before I go... Ah, uh, maybe I should just stick to the quest. Gained so much in England, and we stand to win even more. The Christians are hard ah! to us. They see one man above who holds the axe, one man higher Run than us all. That is a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. Hey, a woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Being so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, with the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. She was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him, and no one believed us when we were young. And we chiseled our plants onto tables in meat holes. Not even my father. There is the Sigurd I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we can? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I am with you. This abomination. Okay, lovely.
Okay then. I am with you, brother, until the end. like 
thing on? Lovely. Read a lot of prisoners. That's good. I was hoping to get a tungsten in God, honestly. Carbon in God just. Sail! Catch the wind! Does not make a lot of sense to me. Let's do this. Another drinker. That's 
gonna be interesting. Carry no blade, only shields. I am impervious to all but the iron of a true drinker. Ragnar Lothbrok knew this and bade me carry only boards as a challenge. Now he is gone and I remain. I wish to die, but I cannot, for he made me too strong. Now I spend my time longing for his company. You must have a weak point. None that I'm aware of. I was always the center of Ragnar's shield wall. He trusted me with the defenses of his great army. My flesh, scarred and trained by Ragnar, is now like an iron weave. It pains me. How can I join him if none can kill me in battle? I see no way in which this can occur. Unless you prove me wrong, fair challenger. Let me do the honor of breaking Ragnar's shield wall. I hope you will. Let me now prepare the shield wall. Lord Ragnar... Will this be the day? Stand fast, warrior. And if Loki rules the day, you may have a chance. Have a look, Sunan. <laughs> I kicked him off of a cliff. That's pretty strong. Now to go see impatient Sigurd.
A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! You know the way! As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To perish on a lonely fjord would be the shame of our clan. Ha! That we would! Unfortunately guys, this will be ending the video, in the next one I'm gonna continue my journey of Assassin's Creed Valhalla and we're gonna see what else the game has to sell for us. With that said, see you in the next one. Bye.